Welcome to the AI Preview Show with me, Davey B, and Dogguesser. We're going to be previewing this evening's meeting at Doncaster, which is live on RPG TV and SIS. To start off with, let's go through the current in-form and out-of-form trainers. In-form, Jimmy Gaskin, 23 runners, 7 winners, 30.43% strike rate. Susan Watson, 49 runners, 12 winners, just over 24% strike rate. Martin Haythorn, 37 runners, 9 winners, just over 24% strike rate. Current out-of-form trainers, Patrick Smith, 10 runners, no winners. Malcolm Windrass, 20 runners, one winner. And Mr. Thompson, 32 runners and two winners. Dog guesser, have you got what do you think of tonight's card? Um yeah, it's all right actually. It's um just I mean, we keep banging the drum like I mean, I don't understand why they've got these sort of cards on the Mondays and the Wednesdays, and yet, you know, all the best dogs have been running at the weekends. Uh, there was two A ones yesterday. They'd have been great on the show, but um, I actually think you know it was a good card. Um, we pulled some VT footage for uh, for everyone as well to sort of go through some reasoning, and uh, all the prices are up on Betfred as well because I've been busy doing that all morning. Things you love to see. <laughs> and how how's the track been running lately? Been to me, it's looked like it's been running all right. Yeah, it's, it's fair, mate, to be honest. Um, it's probably been a touch slow, like minus 20 or something, but it seems to be running really fair. There's no bias inside, outside. You know, there's no excuses for front runners, really. Um, yeah, the track's bang on. They've done really well with it since uh, since sort of December, so hopefully it continues throughout the summer. Hopefully so, mate. Hopefully so. Right then, let's get into the action. I'm just going to share the first race. And that is a A4 over 483 metres. Bashi Ash, Ashi in one, Dunane Slip in two, Lutton's Kyle in three, Mohawk's Rosa in four, Old Fort Zipper in five, and Jamaica Friend in six. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? Um, I thought this was tricky. Um, the one's really well drawn. Uh, Dunane Slip is more of a middle runner. Um, and but it's a very slow away dog, so it might just stop. It might not stop uh, Lutton's Kyle from passing it. Um, but the four's no early pace. The five's not really got any early pace. I think the six can lead wide here. Um, and I think if it got on the skin, I think it's capable of doing, you know, a decent enough run. I think it could do a 30, 60, 30, 70. Um, like I say, the other Calvert dog in one Bashiashi is really, really well drawn with the two moving off and having no pace outside it. Um, that has got some some nice early pace as well, but it won a week B, uh, a week A five last time. Um, but I think the six just showed enough in terms of pace, and I think it could get on the skin here and uh, and maybe do a thirty sixty. But yeah, I'd be with Jamira friend. I think it's a a tough race, but I I bet the one I had the one favourite, but. Um, if I had to pick anything, I'd gonna be with this with the six. I think it showed more in a lot better race last time. So Dog Guesser's fancy for race one is trap six, Jamira Friend. Race two is an A2 over 483 metres. Millcroft Magic in one, Glaze Babe in two, Jetstream Pride in three, Jamira Ranger in four, a long long road in five, and in six, Meteoric Rise. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? Uh, I sided with Glaze Babe. Um, the three and the four raced against each other last week and they hit each other out the cans. Um, they sort of, the three held the four to the corner as well. <sighs> she probably The three and the four probably both needed the run last week. I'd say more so the three than the four. Um, the five's well drawn with the four moving in and the six being an ultra wide dog. Um, I watched a video at Monmore and I spoke to a lad who prices Monmore as well. And the six is an extremely wide dog. They thought it was going to be sort of open class when it first came on the card. It went from A7 to A1. Um, like I say, the trials are okay. But there's a comment on there saying very wide. So I'd, I'd just be... I'd want to see that, you know, show something before I'd, uh, you know, really be 
going into it, but I think the two can uh, can lead the one on the inside here, and I thought it showed enough last time to be to have a really good chance. Uh, Milcroft Magic's not been showing the same sort of early zip, and I think the three and the four will hit each other, and the five will probably lead wide. Um, I think the two can come from behind the five if the five does lead. Um, the five hadn't been running great up until the last couple of starts, but it's just started to find a little bit of form now. Um, and so is Martin, to be honest. His dogs have started to run quite well. Um, but yeah, I'd I'd be keeping an eye on the six for watching it and just uh, I'd go with the two, though, Glace Babe to lead the inside and hopefully either get round in front or back run the five. So Dog Guesser's fancy in race two is trap two, Glaze Babe. Race three is a B7 over 450 metres. Archangel in one. Moss Turbo in two. Bellagio Bond in three. Springside Leilu in four. Nice to meet you in five. And in six, break it, AJ. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? Uh, I'm going to be with the six. Um, yeah, I think it's tough. There's a little bit of a, there's a video here to go with it for, for my reasoning why. Let's get that video up and running. So in the video, yeah, we, have, you through this. we have got um, Break It A Jade um, in trap five. Got Moss Turbo, nice to meet you in Break It A Jade. Yep, let's get that played. Moss Turbo in three. And you've got uh, nice to meet you in four. So if you watch the four dog here, which is going to be in the five dog five lane this time, you can see the dog angles in towards the fence. So if you just watch them when they break, the four is like looking, searching for the fence. So the five, uh, the four is going to be further out this time. It's going into the five lane. So the six is going to have all the sort of space in the world to get to the corner. Now the five isn't um, a dog that normally breaks, but you can see here as well that the three is just putting the brakes on and messing about and then look at it there, it's gone clear again and then it messes about again and it's just going to slow the race up completely. Um, now the three for me, which is Bellagio Bond that's not featured in this video, is a dog past. Now the two, five and, the two and the five are definitely going to have too much speed for it um, by sort of halfway. So that'll probably just quit and I think the one and the four are a little bit lame slash out of form I'm not too sure but I, I can't have them at all so I, I'd be playing like a, a bit of a tricast here with the two five and the six the race is really going to slow up um and the six has got a really good draw and I think if the six went round you know and the, and the three could be stopped then you're going to get a winner out of the six but the problem is the two will probably cut loose and it'll probably make a mess of the race so I'd be playing like two five six forecast and tricast always but you can see there, nice to meet you, is going to take care of the four by moving in. So Dog Guesser's fancy in race three is a tri-cast, and that's two, five, and six. Race four is a B5 over 450 metres. Neves Mags in one, Lysanda Serena in two, Colmoan Prince in three, Crackaway Willow in four, Marfield Berta in five, and in six, game control. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? Uh, I'm going to be with uh, Marfield uh, Berta. I put her up last week in a much better race. She's taken a drop in class. The six is not running at all. It's not showing anything, in my opinion. Um, the four is going to move towards the rail. The three is very, very slow away. The one comes up with the lids. Um, and the two led it last week. And the one destroyed it down the back. I just think she's a better class, this this five bitch. The problem is with her, she steps right from the cans. So she's going to be stepping into the six lane, sort of almost. If she can just avoid the six, she'll get round the corner and she'll win. Uh, the four run a nice race on debut, but it was moving in from the three um, on that day. So, you know, I wouldn't want to be betting it from four having to clear. And there's a bit more pace on its inside as well. So, yeah, if, as long as the five misses the six... You know, you've probably got a winner in uh, Mar Marfield Berta, but like I say, she's a bit clumsy and she is going to step into the sixes lane as well. So, like, you need to do it right at the start. So, Dog Guesser's selection for race four is trap five, Marfield Berta. 
Race five is a D4 over 275 metres. Mustang Brady in one. Granada Blaze in two. Penny's Dryock in three. Eden Bolt in four. Lutton's Layla in five. And in six, Bogger Linden. Dog guesser, what do you fancy? Um, I've sided with Lutton's Layla. Um, now, I know she's in season like five weeks or something, but, you know, this is a real bad race. Um the four is going to start searching for the fence. Um, it always does. I don't know why they still got it this wide in four because it moves in from the free box. Um, Bogger Linden took an absolute smash last time and bar uh, Frank the Bank um, absolutely, you know, chasing its head off and getting to Bogger. Um, you know, that was the only thing that... Um, that stopped Bogger London from probably winning that day. I just think it's tricky, but I just think the five's better than these. I mean, this is a big, big downgrade from the last run. She showed a little bit in that race. I know she went off at a big price, but, you know, the, the winning time was something like 1690 or something. Yeah. Um, so she didn't stand the chance that day. Um, and she's been given a downgrade in with, you know, proper D4 dogs. Like I say, the, if the four cheats, the draw the four can play. But I think I think the five will just get a chance to chase the six, who doesn't really run the bends either. So yeah, it's Lutton Zayla for me. So dog guesser's selection in race five is trap five Lutton's Layla. Race six is a B two over four hundred and fifty meters. Clon Cunny Shell in one, Black Illusion in two, Anna Blake in three. Haven Boxer in four, Slainyside Tora in five, and in six, Bungie. Dog guesser, what do you fancy? Uh, I'm going to nap Slainyside Tory. I'll show you why as well, because we've got some video for the footage for this as well. Let's get that up and running. And here we go. So in... In this video, you can see the one, two, and the three. The one is Clonk Honey Shell, two is Black Illusion, and three is Avon Boxer. So just keep an eye on the one and the two who sort of hit each other, and then watch the three who's now in four today, who's searching for the rail straight away. So you can see they're all in each other's ground there. The two and the one are leaning on each other, and the three searching for the inside. So if, you know, you've got the four dog that's going to move massively in. You've got the five with a, a dog on its outside um, in Bungie, who's wouldn't have the most early speed. So I think she'll lead out wide there and I think she's certain to get on the skin if everything goes to plan on the inside with the three, F4 moving across and the two and the one leaning on each other. So yeah, that's that's why I'm with uh, Slaney side, Tori. I think it's a very, very good makeup and she's capable of doing some flashy runs when she gets on the skin. You know, she'd be a 28-10 bitch um, and I just think they'd struggle to get to these. These would struggle to get to her, sorry. But yeah, the, like I say, the four's going to move in. So Dog Guesser's selection in race Thank six space. is trap five, Slaney Side Tory. Race seven is a B2 over 450 metres. Jets Black Gale in one, Rosanda Brandon in two, Black Hurricane in three, Furlough Franke in four, Fane Enya in five, and in six, Charlie's Esque. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? Uh, I thought this race was tricky. Um, the one doesn't want the fence. It moved off from the two can last time. Uh, the two probably does want the rail and the three wants the rail a bit. So I think the insides are a little bit messy. Um, the four is very green and doesn't really know where it wants to be. Uh, the five's moving in a little bit, but the six hasn't got the pace to take advantage. This isn't my kind of race. Um, if Look, if the three cheats the draw, the three will win, which is a big if. Like, I've genuinely no idea what the four is going to do. From what I've seen, it's like a little bit all over the place. I'd probably go with the five. Um, that would probably be the pick if I had to put something up. I think it's been running well and just not quite getting there. But, you know, if it if there was a bit of trouble on the inside, I think it might, even though it's going to edge in ever so slightly, I think it might still clear. But not a race for me. I don't, I don't like it. But, yeah, if I had to pick anything, it would be the five. So, Dog Guesser's selection in race seven, if he had to pick anything, would be trap five, Fane Enya. Race eight is a B3 over 450 metres. Kill Barry Cream in one, Nola's Doodle in two, Tanner's Matt in three, 
George in four, Broadland Blaze in five, and in six, Jamaica Rebel. Dog guesser, what do you fancy? I, I fancy uh, Broadland Blaze. Um, he was cursed not to get round the corner last week against George, and I think the, the yeah, Jamira Rebel was in the race as well. Um, the four, five, and six was the same dogs, but the five and the six have switched cans. That'll only help Blaze. I think I don't think he's quite a natural six dog. I think he's more of a four point five sort of dog. Um, he's got more gears than George. Um, he just got clipped going. He he kind of got round the bend and then something clipped his back back legs. Um, and I think if on the bend, you know, he's a twenty eight thirty dog, and I think he'd be too good for these. The only problem is if the four follows him round, the four can be a bit of a chasing type. So you need a blocker for the four dog um, to just let Blaze get on with it. Uh, I I wasn't keen on the sixes chances just because I can't have it. Le- I can't have it holding the four and the five. It got a run last week because you know the the five uh, the the five got its legs clipped and um, there was a lot of trouble on the inside and it got a dream run round. I don't think that can happen again today. So just get Broadland uh, Broadland Blaze around the bend and I think he wins. Um, the two will stop the one. Um, the three looks a weird type of dog. Um, doesn't look to have any pace, so I don't see how he gets involved here. So, yeah, for me, Broadland Blaze. So, Dog Guesser's selection in race eight is trap five, Broadland Blaze. Race nine is a D4 over 275 metres. Eden Simba in one, Turn the Light Off in two, Granada Spark in three, Lutton's Millet in four, Dream on Penny in five, and in six, Black Scorpio. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? Uh, I'm going to be with uh, the newcomer in Granada Spark. Um, I don't know much about it, but I got told that um, Granada Spark actually hit um, Broadland Bonnie last week and she would be, you know, six on versus these. Um, Now, I'm not saying that it's got the same sort of speed as Bonnie, you know, because Bonnie would probably be a different class from Thingy, but if it's going to the bend well enough to hit the, uh, the Broadland Bonnie bitch, then, you know... It's going to be very competitive here. The the one's got a little bit of pace, um, but it just quits the 200 yards. The two's a boat. The four, you know, is a bit of a chasey type. She can run a bit. She's, you know, she's got a 1750 on her card, I think. Uh, the five never misses the cans either. But I just think this, like, you know, it's got 1760s on its card, up there, the free dog like, and... I just think it could be a little bit better than these. Now the last trial won't do it any justice because it got a bit of a crowd, but if it's going to you know if it's going to the corner well enough against Broadland Bonnie, I'm happy to take my chance here. I've made them seven to four each or two, the three and the four. Um so yeah, that's that's what it'd be for me. Trap three. So Dog Guesser's selection in race nine is trap three, Granada Spark. Race ten is a B6 over four hundred and fifty meters. Bellagio Breeze in one, Moss Bonnet in two, Bright Storm in three, Liz Duff Jet in four, Pat's Buddy in five, and in six, Crane Maggie. Dog guesser, what do you fancy? Oh, I don't. This is an awful race. Um, look, the four wants the fence. Um, that is one thing I will say, but it's not really got, it doesn't really trap and it doesn't really have the pace to trouble them. Um, if the four could somehow get get a run uh, around the first couple of bends, it'd have a big chance, but the three looks the most most likely leader, but I just don't think the dog's running at all. It's a, look, it's a real bad race. The six back run the one last week. Um, the two is, you know, an early pace type. I don't think it'll get around, so I won't be able to have that. And Crom has got a decent enough draw out wide because uh, the five's not really got any pace either. So um, it went the five went off really short against Crom Maggie and Bellagio Breeze last time, and it it just run it just plodded around. To be honest, it was really disappointing. Um, so this, I think the six can lead wide. I'd probably just go for the six, but yeah, it's a bad race. No opinion really. So in race ten. Dog Guesser would just about go for trap six, but it's probably a race where you wouldn't play, really. Yeah, 
Race 11 is a D4 over 275 metres. Granada Flame in one. Bolt Up Bella in two. Time Limit in three. Granada Smoke in four. Bang Along Nutter in five. And in six, Luttons Ross. Dog guesser, what do you fancy? Uh, I am going to next best uh, Granada Smoke. This run last week against the uh, one dog, it showed better pace than the one. But they were in with much better dogs than these today. Uh, like, he's for real and sort of them types, you know, the proper B for, uh, the D3 sort of D4 four dogs. These are D, these are all proper D4 dogs. Um, time limit can be very, very slow away with the with the cans as well. It, it's got a real bad habit of missing them, um, you know, six and seven lengths. Last time, I actually think it got clipped um, off the dog inside it. The problem is here with uh, the two and the three, the two's going to move off ever so slightly. I think time limit's better drawn in the three actually as well. But I think the four is just different speed. The five can go to the bend like no one's business, but just puts the brakes on at the corner. The six is a million against these. The one's really well drawn. That's that's the only thing I will say. But I think I think the four is different speed. It just needs to sort of not get its ground taken for a couple of strides with the two and the the two moving off and maybe the three edging off slightly. But I think when its feet hit the sand, I think it'll be just too quick for these if it's got any sort of a gap. But yeah, it's uh, Granada smoke for me. I think it's I think it'll be a seventeen sixty dog rather than a you know seventeen ninety dog. So dog guesser's selection in race eleven is trap four Granada smoke. Race twelve is another sprint. It's a D two over two hundred and seventy five meters. Dominica in one, Luttons Vanessa in two, Miguel Blue in three, Mad About Pearl in four, Adon's Champ in five. And in six, Barnfield Quest. Dog guesser, what do you fancy? Uh, I'm with Miguel Blue. Um, the two had been putting the brakes on at the corner. Um, but she probably holds that sort of a line, to be honest, like a rails to mid. I think the three will just have too much speed for these to the corner. Um, it went up last time with, sorry, the time before with Justin's Destiny, Greg's Wagon, which are better than these dogs. It also went up the last like, night just be, just behind uh, Chieftain Snow, Bushack Sweet Pea, you know, them sort of dogs as well. So this is a massive drop in class, really. The six hasn't really been running great. The five isn't a wide, so I don't know why it's got a W on it. The trial's okay, but, you know, it it, it wasn't really showing any early pace in the, in the 450 races, but this is a longer run to the corner. Uh the one's got a decent draw if the two does ease, but, I, you know, the two's been off the card for a little bit, so I couldn't be certain. And the four, I couldn't bet with your money, Davy. So I'm with Miguel Blue. I think it's a massive class drop. I think, it's, you know, I put it in seven to four, six to four-ish uh, for Bet Fred. But, yeah, that'd be my selection. So Dog Guesser's selection in race 12 is trap three, Miguel Blue. Thanks for watching, guys, and make sure you click that subscribe button.